This is a Fox Sports presentation. So, you had your stuffing of turkey, and now you're starving for some big skin. Well, let's get going with some crucial Week 14 clashes right here on the one and only NFL on Fox. Out West, the Niners. KC is never easy. This is our house! Especially since the Chiefs got their own playoff war. We are the Kansas City Chiefs! The Rams slammed the capital to skirmish with the skins. <clears throat> in politics, last week's debacle in D.C. has sparked a new lobby group. Yeah, it's called the Band of Boneheads Movement. <laughs> Lately, Coach Dick has been clashing with his conscience. I'm probably the wrong guy for this job, I'll say that. So I will be here. Uh, I intend to be here. Uh, should I stay or should I go? Today, his Saints hit Carolina as the Panthers try to roar back into the wild card chase. Now we got to seize the opportunity. This one promises to be an air show as the flinging Falcons face the slinging Seahawks. Chris's club has got their bark back. Oh, oh, oh. Well, in Seattle, old man Warren is still beating up on Father Time. The Bucks versus Giants in a game that has meaning. That's right. Hey, Tampa's solid on the ground, but look out. Big Blue's D can whack you with their record crew. Now, live from the Fox Television Center in Hollywood, four guys who've had plenty of dessert, but who are still sweet to each other. It's the one and only Fox NFL Sunday. Well, with just four weeks remaining in the holiday season, the NFL remains crowded with teams shopping for a playoff berth. Today on Fox, the NFL's one sure thing, the San Francisco 49ers face their most difficult, the Chiefs in Kansas City. Later on, this season's two biggest surprises, the Buccaneers and the Giants, square off at the Meadowlands. And hello again, everyone. I'm James Brown with my hand movement that they're mimicking as I welcome you to Fox NFL Sunday. No, he's Joining mimicking. me, yeah, he's right, doing right. Yeah. as we welcome your Ronnie, Howie, and Terry. You know, you guys are all so big with everything going. Howie with the movies, you raising millions for charity, charity. horses with world championship titles. What about Ronnie? Ronnie? Ronnie's oh. on the cover. Oh, oh, honey, oh, hey. frosted Wheaties. Honey toasted. Frosted wheaties, honey yeah. toasted. Oh, yeah, Wheaties, yeah. <laughs> honey, <laughs> honey, <laughs> look at this. That's honey, honey, honey frosted. It should have been, well, yeah. Oh, not, what, what, honey, not, not honey, honey yeah. toasted, huh? What, oh, yeah. <laughs> well, you know, I've been toasted a couple of times <laughs> by you. Oh, I was yeah. toasted by oh, you. Oh, you're bad with that yeah, toasted. Right, yeah. That's sneaky, great. man. You're sneaky. You're bad with that toasted remark. You know that. All right, folks, when you get to Thanksgiving weekend, it's time to focus in on the playoff picture. And there's a lot at stake today. First off, San Francisco can clinch a first round bye with the win against Kansas City. Now, speaking of the Chiefs, they can clinch a playoff spot with the win over the Niners, as well as losses by New England and Miami. And a Denver win against San Diego tonight puts the Broncos in the playoffs. But with 16 out of 30 teams within three games of each other, the playoff picture is far from complete. Now let's turn to the respective conferences. In the AFC division races, the Jets lead the East. Pittsburgh has the there tiebreaker. Goes, yeah, that's baby. right. Pittsburgh has a tiebreaker over Jacksonville. And of course, Denver leads the West. So that means Kansas City is at the top of the wild card race. Jacksonville has the next spot. Miami and New England, who are tied for the final spot, play each other the final week of the season mm. in Miami. And Tennessee's Thanksgiving Day win over Dallas keeps the Oilers very much in the AFC wildcard race. Now, in the NFC, the surprising Giants atop the NFC East. Green Bay leads the Central, but travels to Minnesota Monday night. And you know how much difficulty they've had there. They've not won there under head coach Mike Holmgren. And as you know, San Francisco has won the West. All right, the wild card race shapes up this way. Minnesota and Tampa Bay are in the driver's seat, but both are very much alive in the central race. After that, Washington will get the third spot, but Detroit, which has won three straight, is just one half game back with Carolina, Philadelphia, and even Dallas all still with the shot. Well, with all that happening, you're probably not going anywhere for a while, so let's get to our Snickers Fox Watch. As you saw, San Francisco is looking to clinch a first round by today, while a Chiefs win with some help could put them in the playoffs. 
Pat Summerall and John Madden are at Arrowhead Stadium. And good afternoon, gentlemen. Good afternoon, JB. It's 43 degrees, overcast. Right now, some light rain, but that's supposed to be over by the time the game starts. So that shouldn't be a factor. Injuries, well, the 49ers will welcome back Tim McDonald, who's missed a couple of games with a bad foot. For the Kansas City Chiefs, Kimball Anders, their fullback is out with an injured ankle. And a lot of people have been asking about Jerry Rice, the great Jerry Rice. And if yesterday at practice was any indication, he'll match his target date of December the 15th. That's when he says he'll be back. This is just a few moments ago before the game here at Arrowhead. So he looks pretty good, and indeed it looks like he might make it. Now, as far as this game today, it's one of those games, we think at least, that'll be won in the trenches. Yeah, and I love that kind of football because it usually is one in the trenches where, you know, which line is going to dominate the other line. And when you look at this matchup here today, we have two good lines generally, but specifically inside we have a great matchup because the strength of the Kansas City offensive line is their three inside guys. Wilt Shields, their right guard, Tim Grunhardt, their center, Dave Zott. This is the strength of their offensive line. Now, if you look at the 49ers, the strength of their defense are these two defensive tackles, Bryant Young, Dana Stubberfield. So what we have here is, you know, these three guys against these two guys in the middle, and who wins that battle is going to go a long ways in who wins the game today. That is a battle we'll be watching. Now let's send you to Washington and Paul Kennedy. Thanks so much, Pat. As the Rams arrive in Washington for the first time in 10 years, as you can see, there is rain in the forecast. Redskins fans concerned that their team might hit the wall as they did a year ago when they faded in the second half of the season. It was at this spot last Sunday night that Gus Farratt literally hit the wall. The Redskin quarterback attempting the first ever Jack Kent Cook Stadium lead came up a bit short. Jammed his neck. He is healthy. We'll start for the Skins today. Their more conventional ramming speed will come out of fullback Larry Bowie, who is healthy again after ankle problems and Terry Allen St. Louis has dropped eight in a row it's the Redskins and the Rams as we go on to Charlotte here's Tom Brunneman Paul thank you the Saints and the Panthers today in Charlotte and another quarterback for Mike Ditka in fact the Saints have served up more quarterbacks already this season than a bartender does hurricanes at Pat O'Brien take a look at this it started with he Schuler, went on to Danny Werfel Doug Nussmeyer and now Billy Joe Hobart the starter today trying to cut down on turnovers which have killed the Saints all year and JB by comparison the Saints have used more quarterbacks this season than there have been head basketball coaches at the University of North Carolina in the last 54 years and we know there haven't been many of those only the second change all right folks for those of you not getting an early game you'll see either the NFC East leading Giants hosting the Buccaneers or Atlanta at Seattle as we come back inside to the Fox Television Center how so much has been talked about the Washington Redskins a lot of young offensive talent still needing some maturity maybe some veteran leadership needed here and there but are the Redskins ready for prime time postseason play. Well, they haven't shown that as of yet, JB. You know, they, they need to develop a consistent running game to take the pressure off the quarterback. It seems like it's an old story in the NFL. Everyone seems to need to run the football to protect their quarterback, and today's no different. They expect them to run at Kevin Carter. Bowie being back at fullback is a big key. The Redskins need a dominant defensive lineman. They do not have one. You have to have one. You look at San Francisco, they've got four. They've got four guys that get after the quarterback. Over 250 sacks on the defensive end position for, for the San Francisco 49ers. They don't don't have anybody. They rely solely on those cornerbacks and the safety rolling up. St. St. Louis team is a disappointment. Unlike the New Orleans team that Mike Ditka inherited, this team has some talent. They have not realized that talent. Yeah, but you got to look at Bud Carson, the defensive coordinator. He will put, he will make some problems for Gus Farad at the quarterback spot. I know for a fact that he's going to do a lot of blitzing. He's going to come after Gus Farad and make him make good decisions with the football. On the other hand, Gus Farad on third down, they have to get the ball to Jamie Asher. Now that Leslie Shepard's out of the game, Terry, it's very difficult for this football team to move the ball. Well, after the Beavis and Butthead act that we saw the other oh. night, <laughs> Washington could well. You can always go back, listen, and look at one game a year and say, this cost us a playoff. You can almost always do that. You can't make bonehead mistakes like the quarterback made. Bud Carson will drive him crazy today. Yeah. Henry Eller to the post. You beat Bud Carson's defense by going deep. Howie also made a point that Washington's defense doesn't really give them good field position very often either. No. 
All right, folks, here's a look at what's happening around the NFL. Bobby Beathard is frustrated in San Diego. Last year, he forced out Bobby Ross, his head coach, and since appearing in Super Bowl XXIX, the Chargers are a sub-500 team. Now, the hottest NFL rumor last week was that Beathard was unhappy with his new coach, Kevin Gilbride, and was considering the general manager spot in Seattle. Now, when asked by Fox about the rumor, Beathard said, quote, the way this season is going, who would want me? And if things keep up, I could be out of work and living next to Howie Long in Montana. Did he give, oh. you, Did he give you one of them categorically denied type things? Didn't say categorical because like you don't that. like that. I, well, I can't oh, yeah. spell it, but I like, like it. it. Like but it. I like it. it. All right, folks. <laughs> and on Tuesday, Miami's Jimmy Johnson will meet with troubled running back Lawrence Phillips. Now, if Jimmy Johnson likes what he hears, Phillips could become a Dolphin immediately, signing for the league minimum, which in his case would be less than $10,000 per game. Well, we've just gotten things started going here. Here's a look at what else is on tap for today's show. Today on the one and only Fox NFL Sunday. Throughout his stormy NFL career, Andre Risen, I'm talking about Spider-Man, has had problems wherever he goes. Now, with a new nickname and team, Andre's back, leaving his way through defenses. Pam Oliver spins a tail or two with the Chiefs' superhero receiver. And, hey, seeing a barber can be a little scary. Imagine how two guys named Tiki and Rondé feel. The barber twins have been teammates their entire lives. Now, they're on opposite sides for the first time. One question, who's mom gonna root for so pull up a chair and sit still it's time to meet the barbers then next on fox nfl sunday you see them strutting their stuff every sunday but hey these women have a lot more going on when the cheering stops there's another world to the sirens of the sidelines stay tuned as we expose the secret life of the nfl cheerleader coming up coming at you on the fox NFL Sunday.